Well, all right, all right, all right, and welcome back to the Planet Gen X podcast. And guys, I just had to take a moment to talk about this Time Bandits TV show. Um, <laughs> I mean, it really doesn't deserve much to, to say other than I, I just I try to give it a chance, and I just can't seem to find enough interest to keep me even for a couple episodes awake through the whole episode uh, I can think of two episodes the uh, second episode and the third episode I did not make it all the way through and that's just how flat this is falling on them. Um, I don't know whether it should have just been you know one of these things that was better off maybe as a movie or something you know just like a, an hour and a half to two hour runtime. I get what they're trying to do, and I am a guy who loves British TV. I've loved it all my life. I'm very, I'm a very big Anglophile, so I get British humor and uh, the British approach to comedy and whatnot, and to drama and, and and everything. But even with that said, I found this just the the little jokes and whatnot just felt flat. Nobody's really delivering. Lisa Kudrow just seems like she doesn't want to be there. And when she is there, she's just falling back on the old Phoebe thing. You know, it's like you're just watching Phoebe from Friends again. So I'm not really uh, sure if I'm going to make it much farther through this. I haven't. I, I think I've I think I'm on the fifth episode maybe now. Yeah, I think I watched the fourth one yesterday or the day before yesterday. That shows how much I mean, I didn't I don't even remember what I'm watching. Because at the same time, I'm watching uh, House uh, House of Dragons. You want to talk about an excellent show? Jeez. I, I somehow got behind. I guess there's eight episodes already out, and I, I just finished the seventh. And, I mean, just, mm, just great television. And watching Cobra Kai, you know, which I wouldn't call, like, masterpiece television, but it's not terrible. Uh, it's actually quite enjoyable to watch, even at this late stage in its life. You know, it's it's got one foot out the door, and it's going to be a, you know, out of people's minds eventually. But it's still fun to watch. And then so, I, I find myself wanting to enjoy Time Bandits, but I just, eh, it's so at best mediocre. And I don't even know if that's good enough. Like I don't even know if it meets mediocre. To give you an example, the the um, the trailer here, I. I mean, like, I, I don't, it's not going to have any audio, but just the kid's acting is lackluster. He's got a sister in this. Got a sister in it. I have no idea why. Uh, the sister, there wasn't a sister in the original movie. Um, of course, in the day and age we live in, I guess I do know why. I mean, you got to what? Throw a girl in there. Have a girl. That's fine. But, you know, just... I don't know. There's so much, so much wrong. They go to these different time periods, you know, it's not unlike, uh, that, that little, that little, uh, title scene where it said summer and it has all the neon looking things. That's the intro looking, uh, title intro. And, uh, that's about the best looking thing I like. I really dug that the way they did the intro and the music. That was cool. Um, it's just missing so missing maybe this is why you know we did a we did a thing um i don't know it was a, two, a couple two weeks ago two weeks ago it was a couple months ago and uh we were asking ourselves why is apple not producing promoting the show at all i mean like it came up to like i think it was the week of maybe two weeks before and it was out maybe they were doing a little promotion that was it now you can kind of know why. I guess they weren't proud of it. I can see why. It really could have come off so much better. Uh, Taka Watiti there, he's usually putting out pretty good stuff. I don't know why this is missing. I just can't put my finger on it other than just the acting is horrible. It just seems like there's no heart in it. Something's Something was missing. I don't know what. I, I, don't, I mean, I, I, I can tell you what's wrong with it, but what I'm saying is why? Why did a guy who's typically known for producing very good stuff putting something out like this that looks half-hearted that's the question that's, that's what i can't figure out you even had nods to the past you saw the giant guy there oh and the whole 
the whole hubbub about the the dwarves and stuff. No dwarves in the show. I've seen at least three already, and I'm in. Like I said, I've been through four episodes already. So I, I don't know what that was all about. Again, this goes back to what we were saying last week, man. You guys got to wait till stuff comes out. There was that cool logo I was talking about. But wait till stuff comes out before you make a judgment. Because all this, all I heard was this hubbub about, oh, there's no dwarves in it. And yeah, I mean, what what do you do? Just just judge for yourself. Wait till it comes out and make your own opinions. Because that's what I had to do with this. I really wanted to be hopeful, but it's just not there. So I don't know if you want to waste your time with it. Certainly, House of Dragons is a much better show. It's it's the best show I've laid eyes on in months. Honestly, it's uh, again, I have to give it two chef's kisses in the same video. What are you going to do? Uh, it, it's fantabulous. Uh, Cobra Kai is even fun. And then I'll move on to something else. Some other show will come out. And uh, at least I can say for all the ones I'm watching right now, they're they're not uh, mired in wokeness. So that's all good. Yep. Great. So anyway, if you made it this far, guys, thank you so much. Leave us a like, leave us a subscribe. I'm going to try some new stuff here with the channel. Uh, I've got another channel, Planet Gen X 2, T-O-O that will also have some stuff that I just don't necessarily want to mire this channel down with. It may be me playing flight simulator or something like that. Uh, there was this, this whole channel was meant to be more than just reviewing television shows and movies and whatnot. I mean, like this is planet gen X and there's other things we like, like, you know, computer games. Uh, like I'm about to delve back into the world of Linux and uh, it's been a while since I've done that. I want to see where they've gotten because apparently they're, you know, supposedly, a lot more user friendly and you know i always said that until they get that figured out they'll never make it mainstream because they've got to make it where average i wouldn't say dumb but just average people can use can use it you know install it use it get by with it drive daily on it yep so yeah you might see some kind of uh a linux install video i'm kind of thinking about doing some virtual machine thing and testing out a bunch of distros and seeing which one i like i've already got some ideas of, of ones i like and whatnot like uh zorin and I've, I've looked at linux mint before i may look at that one again i mean it's newbie stuff and i do need newbie stuff i'm, not, I'm by no means a linux guru man it's been years i used to be i used to be not even mediocre but i was better than newbie uh years and years ago but that's all forgotten stuff i'll have to relearn sudo that's what i remember and i'll have to really remember how to use those commands but uh anyway thanks for watching and uh we'll see you soon we're gonna have more videos coming out and, like i said trying different stuff so stay tuned for that i guess i'll have to retcon you guys that's part of it right later <laughs>